It was just another Friday night. Business was slow, so I went to my office to earn my title as a private investigator. That's when I got the call. Damn it! What is it? I told you never help me. What you do in there is none of my business, Mr. Logan, but I thought you'd be interested. We have a case? What's it about? Oh, about 5'10", dark hair. Quite the looker, actually. The case, Toots. What's the case about? That's a good question, Mr. Logan. Should I ask? She's here? Send her in. She was a looker. This dame was all about looks. She looked at me, and I looked at her. Her look told me to look elsewhere, but I kept on looking. She looked like a woman who was used to getting what she wanted. She looked right at me and saw my look. The look of someone who's going to give it to her. After all, it's what she wanted. Do you ogle all of your clients like that, Mr. Logan? Nah, just the pretty ones. Now, what do you want me to do to, I mean, for you? It's my husband. You want me to whack him? No! You want me to whack you? Can't say I'm not flattered, sweetheart, but we just met. Let's keep it professional, for now. No, you idiot! Call me Bill. I need you to track down the people who are blackmailing my husband. And whack them? Whatever, as long as it's taken care of. Well, you can watch me whack them just to make sure. But that costs extra. I love my information with your secretary. It should have everything you need to get started. Hi, doll. That folder you gave me was dangerous business, you know that? I almost died out there tonight. Pity. Come again? I said, pity my brother failed to kill you. I need to get blood on this dress. I don't believe it. You should believe it. It's my favorite dress. And your your brother? Well, I only had one, but he's still my favorite. And that's the guy I walked tonight? Let me tell it to you straight, darling. He had it coming. He knew too many rotten people. It was only a matter of time until someone punched his clock. It just turns out that I was that guy. I can mention that for your eulogy. Bill Logan, an unfortunate sap with a penchant for shooting the wrong people. He has a nice ring to him, but all the same, I prefer I kept on living. Me too. You see, with this dirt I have on you, you're even better suited to my plans. You're going to solve my husband's case, your only case, and you're going to do it for free. What do you have to say about that? I need a drink. Excuse me. Damn drunk. Shit. If that was the worst of it, I could have gone on a happy man. But after checking his ID, there was no end in sight. This was the husband. I figured I needed to act fast, so I hurried back to her place, hoping to put a positive spin on the whole mess. Besides the funeral? Well, I was thinking, after that, maybe. Grab a drink, see a movie. What? Too soon? He wasn't supposed to die. I loved him. Well, why the fuck didn't you tell me that? What part of, no, I don't want you to whack my husband, didn't sink in? Well, I thought... Get your mind out of the gutter. Fish your husband out there first. That's it. Officer, get this man out of my sight. Wait, 
for me. Thank <laughs> you.